This is Huntsville Ampest 2024. This is walking in the door right here. You got ICOM here off to the left. Um, all of the uh, the welcome booth and all that over here. And then you got the prize booth over there. Um, all the drawings and stuff, which I think they're about to do one here in the next few minutes if they haven't already. Uh, you got Giga Parts back there. All the local booths over there. Um, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a walk through all of that here in a few minutes. Um, let's see how many. Uh, See how many raffle tickets have been put in the into the uh, into the drum here. It's quite a few uh, raffle tickets right there that are in there. So everybody's just finishing up getting their tickets in there before the drawing here. I think the next drawing is they haven't done it already. It was supposed to be at about 10 o'clock. Looks like they've already done it. So I don't see myself on the, on the list yet. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'll get to win something cool. But uh, yeah. So that's the raffle tickets over there. Um, we'll probably start over here at ICOM. Start over here at ICOM. There's Carlos over there. Uh, say hi to Carlos. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. How's it going, man? Pretty good, you? Good. Are you jumping today? I'm trying to, yeah. Trying to? Uh, we're in a wet, they're, they're on a weather hold right now, so I haven't left because of that. I mean, okay. they're, oh, they actually right. came off a weather hold, so I'm going to be getting out of here soon. Okay. So they're, they're actually what, on calls. What time do you think you're going to be on? It'll be at least two hours from now, because it's an hour drive there, and um, then I need to get stuff ready. So, okay. you know, figure it out. And you doing a two meter or? Uh, I'll start on two meters, and then I'm going to go to HF. Shit, I didn't bring my HF for a good day. But we'll start on two meters. Are you, doing, you might jump tomorrow, too? Oh, yeah. Weather permitting, I'll jump tomorrow. Okay, cool dude. I'll see you then. Alright. See you on there. Have a good one, man. Be safe. Alright, so yeah, Carlos will be doing a jump later today. Here's the icon booth. We've got the 7610 as usual. ID 52A. This thing is pretty sweet. This is new. So it looks like I'll be coming over here to talk to Ray Novak here a little bit. R15. 718, some backpacks. I need a backpack and a pin. I'll come back over and get that stuff here later. Yeah, that that has me pretty interested. So uh, I don't remember seeing that. Don't remember seeing that at uh, Dayton. All their other radios. Did they announce the? Did they announce the big one? I don't see anything new. Then uh, in the when the page refreshes, click Actually, on what the repair is icon. I'll take you to our repair Sorry. page. It's going to be a form they have to download and print out. You're good. You're good. I'm just. And then it has a I'm just getting some video. Okay. Let me get out of your way so you can. Oh no, you're good. Like I said, it's two service. 7300, 9700. I'm out of here now. <laughs> all right, and then we'll go down all the aisles here in a few minutes too. But yeah, so that's the icon booth. Excuse me. It's got the AWRL booth over here as well. It's got some of their books, shirts, hats, all that kind of stuff. Uh, HRO. I wonder if they got any good uh, deals. You got, uh, got Eddie from HRO Plano right there. Good dude. Just saw him a few weeks ago. Um, yeah. I don't know what their pricing is on everything. I don't think they have any stickers. It's Tar Heel, 549. I'm still eyeing a uh, possibility of buying a 9700 here at the show, but I'm not going to get my hopes up too high. Because that is, excuse me. They're usually 1700 but... There's so much stuff though here at HRO's tables. They've got uh, the diamond and comet antennas over here too. Some ham sticks for Hamstick Eric. Uh, some Impeds. G5 RVs. Power supplies, Astrons, all that. Looks like they got... They got quite a few uh, 710 fields and uh, AESS is over here too. Oh. So sweet, excuse me. That's HRS 10. Uh, Radio Oddities out here. I think they were supposed to be at Dayton, but I never did see them. They got the uh, Ratty Weather Stations out here. A couple of bow things. That's pretty sweet. Come back, oh, excuse me. 
come back over here later and see if they got anything. See if they got anything new, the radi radiotity guys. They got a, looks like a couple G90s out here. And some other stuff. So I bought my, uh, so I bought my, uh, X6100 through Radiotity. Um, Long Island CW. I'm a member with Long Island CW. I just haven't had time to actually start learning CW yet. Um, looks like some tower climbing stuff here. Mastrant, antenna guying, so lots of guying and uh, building stuff over here. Antenna or uh, tower building stuff and guying. Lots of uh, paracording and paracording dying ropes. You hear all your miscellaneous bits and bobs and stuff like that. The uh, can't remember what these things are called. These things, um, little cable restraints. Pretty cool. Uh, flex radio. We'll come back and look at flex radio here in a few minutes. Youth on the air. It's good to see youth on the air out here. And uh, if you guys see anything that interests you and you want me to go back and take a look at it again, let me know. This is the, uh, I don't know what this is, brown coats. Something with robotics maybe, something with the kids. This is like the youth area here at the Hamptons. But if you see anything that you want me to stop back by and look at, just let me know down there in the chat. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the show so far in the chat from what you're seeing. I'm gonna go through gonna go through everything looks like they got some stickers over here so I'll probably be back later because I like stickers here's the Giga Parts booth over here Giga Parts booth enjoy lunch first 25 purchases at Giga Parts oh wish I came over here could have got free Mexican with food I don't remember I don't know who it was Taking Jeremy in the comments. Jeremy's somewhere. I'll try to find him <laughs> Just to be at some point. There's all the rig experts here. Straight through here. Got Steve. Hey, for Steve. How's it going, man? Good. Good. To see you. Just saw you yesterday. I see Floney. Stefano didn't come to the show this to the show. And I'm like, yes. So, and then we heard you last night. Calm job we stuff. At the Airbnb These are actually the pretty cool. Heard you, but my little five oh, watt me. was not going to get you from inside the house. Uh, so, last night, so I was driving. Uh, oh, maybe it was. DJ rig stuff over here too. Oh, well, right? oh those are sweet. Yeah. Yeah, all the digi rig stuff. Just finally bought my first digi rig. What's up, hey, man? What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. Again. I'll be back over here in a little bit. No problem. Yeah, all the uh, QRZ Explorers. These things are freaking sweet. Good deal. What are they? They're $29.98 here at the show. Yep. So, if you guys are looking for a good, uh, all the accessories too are really cheap too. If you guys are looking for a cheap radio, Two meter 440. Come check out these radios. They pretty much do everything that a Balfang does, right? Yep. Okay. Everything that a Balfang does probably better though. 100%. 100%. 100%. All right. I'll see you a little bit. All the Explorer bags over here too. You got two different sizes right there. Excuse me. All the Explorer bags. They have a new one, I think. I want to say this one is new. The uh, 705 Explorer bag. Jason was showing me that yesterday. This thing looks really cool. Um, it's got, maybe it wasn't this version. I don't know. Um, but little cable bag over there too for all your uh, universal stuff, cables, all that kind of stuff. Teletron stuff, antennas, pretty much all the antennas that uh, all the other brands make, but honestly done a little bit better. I have to say, I I really uh, I really want to get this one for the car. It's kind of like the uh, diamond that I have, but I really want to try this one. So we'll uh, 
we'll have to see. Maybe I'll pick one up today. Okay. And then they've got the uh, mounting brackets, which I actually like these a little bit better than the MFJ because they don't use the uh, U brackets, they use this. And I think it's a little bit more sturdy, personally. Um, the Intellitron clocks, they got a lot of these different clocks for the shack. These things are freaking sweet. I think the coolest one they make though is probably the Nixie. The Nixie's pretty freaking cool. Um, switches, I really like their switches too. The switches are honestly, I think, a little bit better than the MFJ ones. You got your two antenna switch, your four ports, all that, excuse me. Lightning arresters from Intellitron now too. That one's a 14, uh, 400 watt for $24.99 and a 1500 watt for $31.99. I think that's less than the, I don't remember what brand I bought, but whatever one I have in the shack, I think it's less than that. All their different uh, SWR meters, power meters, they have two. Those are pretty nice. And then all their power supplies over here as well, they got quite a few. Not too bad on the price either, 159 for uh, switching for whatever this one is, and 249 for this one. So yeah, this one's 159, this one's 249. And then they got their uh, telescopic masts, not the, uh, not the photo mast, that's somewhere. Looks like they got um, all their 3D printed stuff out here too. I don't remember seeing the 3D printed stuff at uh, Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. I don't remember them having the 3D printed stuff at any of the other shows, so they got tons of 3D printed stuff out here. Uh, signal links, different books, stuff like that. They got their PO4 Power, which is uh, the Intellitron. It's their brand of uh, batteries, the PO4 Power. These things are pretty sweet. Lithium iron phosphate batteries. These things are sweet, they even have a little display on them. So I, I had a 2013 Mustang. So yeah. Right. Oh, wow. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Oh, sorry. All the different books and stuff that they carry. That's why I don't forget. They got these cool little tactical backpacks too for like 20 bucks, I think. Oh, you're called into that. Yeah, to the camera. <laughs> Uh, they got them in black and camo too. These are pretty sweet. They got the uh, PALS webbing on the outside so you can put stuff. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have Velcro though. That's, But it still has a webbing so you can make it pretty modular. Uh, they got all different sizes of those too. Let's go back over there and talk to... Excuse me. Come back over there and talk to Comjot in a minute. They got these little bitty ones too for nine bucks. That's a good deal. They got them in black. Uh, I'm gonna say that's Coyote Tan, probably. They got them in Coyote Tan. They got them in black. They got them in uh, green. Coyote green. LDG over here too. All the different LDG tuners. Yep. But I'm on the hook. And then. Uh, portable projector that's pretty sweet then they got all the mystery boxes over here as well they got the uh, $20 ones the $50 uh, looks like mostly just the small ones 50 and 20s so yeah and then the rest of this is just their cash all wrap day, all day, day, all day long. so yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, gigaparts booth they got even more stuff though they got radios and all fun stuff. Looks like they got some D75s, some Yaesu radios. So, yeah. I'll have to go back over and talk to them here in a little bit. Um, talk to Jason and Steve. Good dudes. Uh, trying to figure out which way to start. Maybe I'll just go start by the door. Let me check the chat real quick. Make sure nobody's... Other than Jeremy's in there. Got James in there. Or Jim. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, hello from Texas. You're back in Texas, Jim. Glad to see you got some time to go home and uh, see the family. Um, so yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on the chat as best I can while I'm uh, 
recording and trying to voice over. But so far the stream's held up really well. I'm uh, really impressed with it. Hopefully it's not cutting out too bad. You got Armalock over here. They got some pretty cool cages for stuff like the 7300. These things are pretty beefy and then they have all kinds of just different stuff. I'd like to see if they have one for the uh, X6100 or not. But they got some, uh, looks like some patches and stuff over here too. Some right angle BNCs. I'll have to come back over and stop and talk to these guys here in a little bit. But pretty much everything you need to make a man pack portable digi rig, uh, Hydex holders. This is freaking sweet too. Looks like a, yeah, that's freaking sweet, dude. So yeah, Armalog. I'll have to come back over and talk to these guys later. ABR Industries. I don't see Chuck out here. I don't know if he's just not here right now or not. Don't That's see, the problem with those things. Don't see Chuck. Chuck's usually at all the shows. You got all their, uh, all their uh, toroid, toroid uh, coax, got the ferrite, ferrite B coax. And this is the new one I think he was telling me about at Dayton right here, the uh, red, white, and blue. With the red, white, and blue sheep, the uh, poto coax. Yeah, they got everything you need. Maybe our industries. So yeah, it looks like they got some new stuff since the last time. Some new colors on their uh, on their sheathing. Um, M threads over here. Got all your high vis you might need for uh, MCOM, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> everything you could possibly need. You got their custom, all their custom. Uh, Custom branded stuff. Just tons of stuff. All their hats and stuff too. I need to get me some uh, custom gear done at some point. More of their stuff. So pretty much anything you need branded for your ham radio, come get it over here at uh, Ham Threads. Chat radio over here too, out of Chattanooga. I believe Chattanooga. But pretty much everything you possibly need. All the radio waves antennas too. Bits and bobs over here. Rig runner. All your various Comet antennas that they got over here. Chat radio again. This is their booth. They got all kinds of stuff. Good deals. Uh, some six, some uh, GMRS antennas over here too. If you're into that kind of thing. All of these Comet antennas that they got. Uh, I think this is part of their booth. Yeah, chat radio, all their books and stuff that they that they carry manuals for radios, getting started books, help books, all that kind of stuff. They got the ABR as well over here. Let's come back over here. Just all their various stuff over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you okay? And they got the, they do actually have, I think the orange sheathing is new. They got the orange AVR industry sheathing and the uh, yellow, the high vis. More of the uh, diamond antennas over here too. They got mobile and HT antennas. All your various bits and bobs over here. Anderson power poles, dog bone, insulators. Powerworks stuff, uh, your Powerworks kit. Uh, looks like they got some CW keys over here too. Excuse me. It's got some CW keys over here too, straight keys. We have a power supply. Paddle gears. Oh, that one's freaking beautiful. That one's full charged. Geochron. Yeah, man. Set up. Um, Different HTs and stuff in here. A 
looks like a Roku, maybe, or at least a remote. Maybe that's for the TV, I don't know. Maybe you can buy the TV. Bio uh, 15 amp hour for 149. 12 amp hour for 124. I need two number six. All their different uh, power box building stuff. Yeah, uh, five, seven, eight. A couple of these Alinkos, uh, SDS 100 or 200 scanner. If you're a scanner nerd like me, how's it going, Andy? Good to see we got Andy Cowley here in the chat too. Like I said, I'm doing my best to. Uh, like I said, doing my best to try to keep up with the chat while I'm walking around and showing you guys a tour of uh, Huntsville Ham Fest right now. Uh, never seen these guys. Uh, technical equipment distributors. Looks like they got antennas, antenna components, and LMR 400, all that kind of stuff. American contingency. Uh, excuse me. And then you got Wild Sage jewelry out here too. They got all kinds of like Native American jewelry and stuff. Pretty sweet. So while you're, yep. So while you're out making uh, bad financial decisions, buying stuff at the ham fest, you can come get your wife something nice too. So yeah, you know, get your wife some jewelry so she. Uh, Kind of sweeten the deal when you buy a new radio or something. Yeah, all kinds of stuff here. Um, and then you got these laptops. I think we're getting close to the uh, flea market, so I don't want to don't want to spoil that yet. But uh, different computers and stuff out here. Uh, I think most of these are these are all used and stuff. They got some pretty good deals. I might very well possible I might end up buying a uh, laptop for Poda if I can find a good deal on one. Maybe less than a hundred bucks, I might buy one. Some flea market stuff over here too. It looks like I don't. I think I'm gonna hold off on uh, going back too far in here because I don't want to. Don't want to spoil the flea market yet. So I'll come back down that when I do the flea market video. But we'll go through Tower Electronics at least real quick. Or uh, Quicksilver. This is Quicksilver Radio. Uh, they got a bunch of ammo cans and stuff, and uh, looks like. Crimpers and stuff like that's power pole crimpers, uh, electrical supplies, power poles, different sizes, various uh, voltage or amperages. There's all this different stuff here. Soldering stations. 120 bucks for a pretty decent soldering station. That's it's almost as nice as my. Uh, Almost as nice as the one I have. Coax. 56. Looks over custom coax. Decent coax ends on it. Yep. Looks like they got some uh, USA plugs. This is, I think, their. I think this is their uh, Quicksilver brand. For 115 bucks for 50 feet of. Uh, what is that? It's basically their ultra flex. Don't see Jeremy anywhere. But yeah, this is all the uh, Quicksilver brand stuff. Their house brand. And then you got all your different connectors and stuff. Your PL259s, SOs, BNCs. You got ferrites, RG316 jumpers. Some lightning arresters somewhere in there, right here. Lightning arresters, I think. Maybe. Uh, different threaded, uh, threaded connectors and stuff. Yeah, this is kind of like the start of the flea market, and like I said, I'll come back through later today in the flea market see what's left 
I saw a couple of cool things in there. Um, all the uh, other various bits and bobs and stuff like that you can find over here at Quicksilver Radio. Looks like they got uh, some antenna, uh, or that's paracord. Some paracord and then uh, RG316 right here. Some uh, copper wire. You got your magnet wire right here. Uh, 80, 80 bucks for 3,200 feet of magnet wire. Um, different different ham sticks right here. There's more various stuff. All this here at Quicksilver Radio, they're at pretty much every ham fest that I've been at. Check the chat one more time again. Got any of you guys watching, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that like button. Much appreciated. Appreciate the support, guys. And uh, like I said, just leave a comment in the chat. Let me know what you guys think. Here's more. Uh, we'll come back, come back through and see this stuff here in a little bit. But this is kind of like the beginning of the flea market. But you got Tower Electronics over here too. Towers and everything. It's pretty much the same thing as Quicksilver. I mean, it's a little bit different, but um, like I said, they're at pretty much every hand fest. You'll find these guys. And they've got all kinds of good stuff. They got multimeters for 10, 25 bucks too. Not bad, not a bad deal at all. Um, never seen the movies collection out here. Um, this is new for sure. I don't even know if DVDs were still a thing. A prescription screwdriver for three bucks. I might actually, I might actually buy that. Should be back again. But yeah, precision precision screwdriver, six piece set for three bucks. That's a pretty good deal, I'd say. I might come back and buy that here a little bit later. Um, cable ties. Just check in the chat one more time. Gonna check chat real quick and see just kind of where it's at. Uh, these thingies, grounding plug, uh, not grounded. I don't even know those were still around. I, Five dollar uh, sixty watt soldering iron. That's a that's a pretty good deal. Thirty watt soldering iron for five bucks. Excuse me. Uh, you got your solder over here. 40 for three bucks LEDs crimpers different uh, power cables and stuff like that as well Some fuses dog bone insulators no I'm not a dog bone insulator no those are <laughs> yeah, it's good to see these or are you the one that carries these on uh, eBay? Because no. I bought some just like this, so I didn't okay, know if you, you were selling them too. Okay, this guy here? Okay. Thank you. I'll, co thing. I'll come back and talk to you guys later again. All right. Probably more stuff for me to buy. Okay, four seven. Some uh, flat wire. They're a little bit busy right now, so I didn't want to distract him too much. Grass pulleys, so yeah. Tower Electronics, come check them out at all the ham fests. They're out at pretty much every one. All your uh, Comet antennas and stuff over here too. Got the uh, Toy Box antenna, which 119 bucks for this one. Still really want to get this antenna. Just haven't bought it yet. I think this is the uh, storage pouch for it. All the different uh, Antennas here, or their mobile antennas here. I, I blanked on his name. More of the Comet antennas here. Again, Tower Electronics. 
check them out next ham fest that you're checking out. All their coax and stuff like that over here. OPEC antennas. I haven't ever seen them. Those are pretty, not terrible. They're a quarter wave on two meters for 24 bucks. Check them out at some point. Comet, or the Comet antennas. I really want to get the uh, GP, I think it's the GP6. I can't remember it. There's one that's like a tri-bander that I really want to get for the house, but I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet. It um, looks like over here is just going to be more flea market stuff that I'll come back to here in a little bit in the next video. See some Motorola stuff, so I'm sure uh, a couple of buddies of mine are freaking out about that, seeing all the Motorola stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll come back to that here in a little bit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of snake around the rest of the time. Yeah. Um, just gonna kind of snake around the rest of the time. You got a Ham Radio Prep World Radio League out here too. James from Ham Radio Prep. I don't see. Uh, Prep, they uh, released their uh, new World Radio League logbook not too long ago, so y'all should go uh, check that out. It's pretty cool. It's basically has brought um, esports to esports gaming to ham radio, so it's really cool. Highly recommend checking these guys out if you haven't already. So TN07 over here. They make some pretty good masts and uh, antennas. Jeremy has the uh, my, I think it's called the go-to antenna. My go-to. Oh, it's pretty sweet. Kind of in this little roll-up bag. And uh, so I'm looking uh, yeah, for it's a pretty cool antenna. I think Jeremy's actually about to do a video on that. So go check out Jeremy's channel, uh, Off Duty Ham Radio with K5 TXY. And this is uh, this is the one that I have the my the go anywhere antenna. Um, I don't really use it a whole lot anymore, just because now I use the uh, Coffee and Ham radios, but they're they're decent antennas. Um, doesn't look like they have any other masts out here though, which I'm kind of surprised they don't have their masts out here. Um, so yeah, TN TN07 Engineering got some good products. Come check them out too. Check them out online. Uh, TN07.com, TN07.com. Got their mouse pads. I really like mine. Keep mine in the shack. It's really nice and handy. Ten bucks each, or two for fifteen. It's a pretty good deal. So yeah, check them out. Uh, got diamond antenna over here. Excuse me. All the uh, various different diamond antennas. Are these stickers? Oh, uh, magnets. Diamond magnets. All the different diamond antennas. I think they stopped making, sorry. I think they finally stopped making the one that's on my car. Or wait, this might be it. I think this is it. The NR73B NMO. This one on the Great antenna. The Works really well. Yeah, yeah, so, excuse me. So, Some breath mints. Lifesavers. Take one of those. Um, the lifesavers are the highlight of the uh, diamond antenna tent every time. Um, then they got their K400 series mounts. I have one for my car. I love that mount. Fantastic mount. All their other different mounts as well. So yeah. All the different diamonds stuff. They do have stickers over here. I have to go over there and steal one at some point. 
Oh, they're different HD antennas. Jolly Ranchers. I think we already yeah uh, we already looked at AWRL. Already looked at Hammerdale Outlet. Let's look at Yezu. Three Yezu hats. I gotta make sure I get one. Didn't get one last time. The X Gen hey, uh, 710, and I think that might be the 990. It was. Yeah. 101 MP. They've got a uh, Wireless X class too. Today at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Talks about connections of WireX and the WireX software. All their different HTs, the FT5DR. 500 DR, 300, 200, 600 R. I'd go back and see like, what are your stakes? That would be the only person that could do it. There's the wireless X software that we're supposed to be able to pass on later. I think it's a wireless. Sometimes if we hear about resellers, we might have a fusion repeater. That's the uh, Yesu tent. The Poda tent, Poda table. Excuse me. Oh, sign man of the sign man, sign man of Baton Rouge. All your different uh, badges and stuff they can they can make. All the different hats and stuff they also can do for you custom hats. These are pretty sweet call sign hats. Pretty much any color you can think of. But I think these are really cool. But I think they do all the orders here at the show. Comets tent over here too. All the different uh, common antennas. 12 volt power. I need to come back over and talk to these guys later too. They got all kinds of different stuff. They got the anti-tones out here. All the different power pole stuff, wires, stuff like that. Phase stock, I don't actually know what this is. Little, uh, little workbench, you can get them. Those are pretty cool. Different workbenches and stuff. That's Ham Radio Outlet, Radio Oddity, Long Island CW again. N3ZN, still eyeing a key. I'm trying to find out. Really trying to decide which uh, key I want. You just can't decide on a key. Craft booth, they're busy today. So use it as a straight amp where you can have the amp X1. Push it towards the antenna tuner. KX2, KX3. So the antenna tuner excuse me. Lives inside this. The amplifier. I think it's a full legal limit. Yeah, and I don't know. It's a 1500 watt amp. This thing is freaking sweet. The, uh, the 500 watt amp, which is the KPA 500. Um, the K4, 
which is their new SDR radio. Go check out the video I did with them at uh, Dayton Hamvention. Um, with, uh, I think it was Steve, showing me K4, the transceiver, and the uh, K4 remote. So yeah, go check that out. Guys over here at Ella Craft make fantastic radios. Would love one one day, but I am do not have Ella Craft money. Different antennas and stuff here. Uh, who is this? Ham Source is what this is. Still haven't seen Jeremy. I don't know where he wandered off to. He might still be in the flea market, honestly. I'm being told my stream is dropping. Excuse me. Sorry, buddy. How's it going, dude? Is, is, is the spike working out okay for it? Do what? Spike working out okay uh, So I was actually doing a review on it. I meant to email you about it. It's kind of like, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. spike it away. So I was going to get with you and see if maybe I did something wrong that could have caused that. But it like was in the ground and then it leaned over. I'll have to get a picture when I get back to the truck. Uh, you, you got your bike with it? No, it's in the, it's at the camp. I'll bring it tomorrow. You, no, you you have it up at the camp? Yeah, it's at the camp. Okay. No, I'm not at Montesano though. I'm at the other one. Okay. At a ca uh, cathedral or whatever. Okay. I'll, I'll uh. But yeah, because I I'm gonna uh, try to do a review on it while I'm out here. Do you, do you have the Berkman 3 spike? Does it have the, does it have these gussets in it? Gussets? Like uh, the, this one? Oh, this little, see these little? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, the little dots? Yeah, the little. I don't think so. I'll just give you, I'll just give you a whole new spike. Since I, I, Cause I redid it a little bit. Okay. Make it a little bit stronger, but the spike. Yeah, I think it's just like the cutout. Uh, I don't think it has a little dot. I don't know. The spike itself should not have some. This yeah, no, this, this bent like, kind of toward the top. That is really weird. So I'm not sure. I've never had anybody know that. Either. Yeah, I stuck it in the ground and it didn't, like, not windy or anything. Okay, I'll, yeah. just, give, I'll just give you another one. I appreciate that. No problem. I didn't use the guying ring either, so I don't know if maybe that was just too much weight or what. You don't, you don't, what, what, what kind of antenna do you use? I use the cockpit ham radio's Apollo, the NFED. And uh -huh. I didn't have, like, a whole lot of tension How on it. I don't know, it was just the, I didn't have the, I had just the uh, cable end on it. It's not very heavy. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I've never heard It's that. about the same as like the, uh, I didn't even have a reason to do it. Okay. So now I've got a yeah, reason to do it. You, okay. I've never used the guy, I've got the guy ring with me too, but yeah. I've never used the guy ring okay. any of my activations. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll just get you, I'll get you a new one. All right, thanks man, I appreciate and, uh, it. I'll either give it to you today or tomorrow. Or okay, yeah, if you see me, just show, give me a shout. Appreciate it, man. Your black here, you got a purpose whatever you want to give me. I think I got an orange last time. Thank you. Hey, Radio Adventure Guy, go check out his mass bike. That thing is pretty cool. Different fuses and stuff like that. I've been working on a review for his uh, for his mass bike. Um, I have not had a whole lot of time to do very many videos, though. I've got so much other stuff going on right now that get a little bit overwhelmed um hopefully after the show it's been very busy there's jason what's up hey, man what's good up? to see you all the bio -Uno stuff over here this is pretty cool let's come back over here and check these out little uh bug out antennas LED lights, I didn't know that uh, they even carried these. Um, Tar Hill Designs over here. These things are uh, pretty freaking sweet antennas. Looks like the... Uh, Looks like the horns on the hood of the uh, of an old caddy. That's what that reminds me of.
like I said, if this is cutting out, if the stream's like kind of dropping out and stuff, I'm gonna re-upload this hey, you know, later you today. Got Shaq in a box over here. Full ham shack in a box, everything you can possibly need. I gotta work out of my car. Check them out. They make some uh, really good, uh, make some really good uh, check boxes. Oh. I need to come over and talk to talk to James today too at some point. Excuse me. Excuse me. Question, sir. All right, Flex Radio. I think we're getting toward the end here. I think there might be one more aisle after this. See, I've been going about an hour. All the Flex Radio stuff over here. I always love looking at these, but uh, I have no money to afford them. 8,600. It's just George and Jeremy. I think that's my ish. Or no, that's... Are they doing okay with that? Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, that's right. Well, my Astros are here. Can't ever remember them. I can't afford them, but... Rocket Machine Works. Wall place for the shack. Sure. Pass through. Um, we tried to make it as versatile as possible. I'm oh, sorry. All right. RT Systems, they make great programming software. Way better programming software for the bow things than the, what comes from the factory. So RT Systems, come check them out. Excuse me. Check them out online. SK uh, Straight Heat Century Club. I started to bring my light and load as you see it, what you've been interfacing with. I probably need to pick one of these up at some point. Morse code charts. Excuse me. MNL radio technology, they got different uh, radios and stuff. Some Redivis and stuff like that over here. A Lunch, Al Lunch, however you say it. A couple of Pelican cases over here for 95 bucks. Not bad. Miscellaneous antennas, some tactical bags, stuff like that. Just different uh, Redivis and stuff like that. Some ammo can or ammo boxes for five bucks. So yeah, check out MNL Radio Technology. Um, who is this over here? Oh, Gold Metal Ideas. Let's see who this is. All your different funny ham radio shirts. I probably need to buy a couple of them. Resistance is futile. They make some pretty good shirts and good hats. I always enjoy coming by and taking a look at all their hats. Fireman over there too. I always come enjoy coming over here to Gold Metal Ideas though and checking out all their different hats and shirts and stuff. Every every ham fest, it's a it's definitely a, a fun time. Um, so let's see what's back over here. I think this is youth on the air. There's a couple more things down there we're gonna go look at, and then that's pretty much it for the vendors. Uh, youth on the air right here. Definitely uh, support these guys because they do a good job of getting young people interested in amateur radio. So come check them out. Give these guys some support. Definitely appreciate what these guys do. I'm gonna steal some more candy. Um, yeah, they got sponsored by ARDC, ICOM, Worldwide Radio Operators Foundation, DX Engineering. Check these guys out, get youth on the air. Support your low. Oh, this is a talk in right here. K4 BFT. Which I forgot to program the uh, talk in today. So I'm not doing much talking in. Uh, 
um, Delta Amateur Radio Club. They're having a uh, uh, just a flea market stuff going on. Decatur Amateur Radio Club. Tons of like old vintage. Tons of old vintage stuff. Um, we'll we'll come back over and look at a lot of this stuff here later at the flea market. But this is just kind of a this is just kind of a teaser for the flea market thing. I don't know what what time is it right now. It's 11 o'clock. I might come back and do another live stream about maybe three o'clock or so, maybe two o'clock. I don't know. Depends on what I get preoccupied doing later. Um, yeah, this is just kind of the start of the flea market though, just kind of a little bit of a tease to that. I'm getting close to the end of my battery, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Uh, Midwest Amateur Radio Club. I'm in the wire, man, and then I'm gonna head out. Midwest Amateur Radio Club, they got some uh, J poles and that sort of thing here. Maybe we'll go try to find Jeremy here in a few minutes too, because I have yet to go find him. Um, sorry, I'm trying to eat a Hershey's Kiss that I took from youth on the ear table. Hungry, didn't have breakfast. So yeah, Wireman, they got like some LMR, different coax. Uh, see some copper wire over there too. Power cable, stuff like that. All your various connectors and everything that you can need. Crimpers, all that sort of stuff. More of their coax. more just various wiring and stuff like that you might need for your various projects and yeah all kinds of stuff so yeah that's pretty much it a couple of tyt's out here looks like a 90 or a, whatever that one is i have i forgot what it's already called a little bit tired but yeah so that's pretty much it. I've been going for about an hour just doing a doing a walkthrough here at uh, Huntsville Ham Fest. And yeah, this is uh, this is my third Ham Fest that I've attended. So I'm pretty excited for it. Um, so far, having a lot of fun. Uh, Jeremy and I spent the day yesterday. We I tried to activate the park yesterday, but uh, didn't get to activate it yesterday. I think I made a couple of contacts, but it just wasn't happening yesterday. So, gotta try to get the park activated before I leave Huntsville. But, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've had a ton of fun so far. We went and checked out a, a cave yesterday, the Cathedral Caverns Cave. Uh, that was super fun. Um, really cool. Oh, well, I forgot about these booths too. So. We're gonna run through these real quick too. Atlanta Ham Fest. Atlanta Ham Fest over here. Um, North Alabama DX Club. Alabama Contest Group. You have the QRZ table over here. They got some QRZ stickers. I'm gonna have to come take one in a little bit. Um, RARS Fest, which is Raleigh's amateur radio fest. Uh, AMSAT booth, they got a huge booth. They look not huge, but I mean, they got a pretty big booth. And then, what is this? I don't know who this is. Roar International, whatever that is. Oops, excuse me. Um, quad net, multi mode, digital, amateur radio. I guess that's just a. Uh, tent, you got um, Mike over here, Whiskey 4 Ops, and the Poda boot or Poda gear. Poda gear guy, he's at every ham fest. Dude's at literally every ham fest, works very hard going to all those. He's always on the road. Good dude, I always enjoy talking to him. 
We've got the Ole Miss, the um, the uh, International Sideband Society. I uh, join in on their nets sometimes on Saturdays, and always a fun time. So be sure to check those guys out. Check out their nets, omis.net, and the Amateur Radio Newsline as well. And then this is the uh, prize drawing area. Tons of people just waiting to see if their name gets called and see if they're uh, gonna get to uh, be drawn. Here's the uh, submissions here. The prize drawing, I don't know. I don't think I've won anything. I haven't got a message yet. So probably haven't won anything. I don't know if, I don't know, I thought they were gonna announce them on like a speaker or something, but I haven't heard anything, so. Maybe not. Uh, and then one thing I wanna show you too is this, uh, this satellite trailer too. Pretty cool, it's got a rotator on the roof. A steamroller. This thing's freaking sweet. This satellite tracking trailer. Athens State University. Sounds like slow scan. And this is inside of their trailer. They just got like super cool inside of their trailer over here. Looks like I can go around the back and show you guys. Yeah. That's pretty much it for all the vendor booths. I've been going for about an hour. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, each of you that was watching, I'm gonna double check the comments real quick. And just see if anybody said anything I need to ask. Uh, yeah, hopefully the stream was stable enough like i said i'm gonna re uh, i'm gonna re-upload it tonight just in case it cut out because there were a couple times i did check uh the replay to see how the stream was doing and i did see it kind of pixelated a little bit so i'll upload the full quality the full quality video later tonight or maybe this afternoon depending on uh wi-fi and all that but yeah so yeah uh, Lot, lot to see and lot to lot to do so hopefully i can get out of here without spending a whole lot of money this year but we'll see um, yeah i think that's pretty much it got to go talk to some people and uh just hang out and enjoy enjoy the ham fest maybe i can get a flex radio shirt while i'm here um, see if i won anything yet though see if i won anything i don't think i've won anything yet Sunday, we're at Sunday now. So let's see. Uh, doesn't look like I've won anything yet. That's unfortunate. So yeah, I haven't won anything. Again, here's the uh, youth lounge area. Pretty cool to see kiddos out here enjoying things, um, STEM related and Amateur radio related, pretty cool to see. Um, it's good for them to get to experience that stuff. But yeah, there's Josh. Getting ready to crash course. Head over here somewhere. What is this? Hang on. I gotta see what this is. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here or not. Uh, this is meal. This is the meal ticket lounge. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. I don't even know how I get the meal ticket because I didn't get one. Um, yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Um, I can't find Jeremy. I don't know where he went. Um, but, yeah. He, uh, you know, he might be in one of the uh, forum rooms, actually. Oh, uh, there he is right here. I was just looking for you. Hey, what's up? Did you find anything to buy yet? Uh, I'm just now starting to look. I just finished doing some videos. Went and dumped my uh, big stuff, looked at the little stuff, and now I'm going to look for personal purchases. Personal purchases? Are you still on live? Yeah, yeah. I'm, about to be, I'm about to be wrapped up. Yeah. All right, so there's Jeremy. Uh, K5TXY, his channel is Off Duty Ham Radio. Go check him out. He was in the comments earlier, so you'll see his comment. Yeah, I was watching earlier from afar. Watching earlier from afar. Would you go take a nap in the truck? <laughs> yeah. No, just dumping off my stuff, but I saw you're alive, so I wanted to check you out, too. Okay. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're going to go enjoy Huntsville Ham Fest. And uh, that's pretty much it. Anything else you want to say? No. No, just uh, get out here if you can, if you're uh, make it a lot of good vendors so the uh, expo is going to be good a lot of different uh, presentations there's a YouTube panel tomorrow at 10 with the uh, cool kids yeah I didn't get invited to that uh, yeah. so, uh, all right well I'll see you guys later thanks for watching everybody I appreciate your time hope you guys got, hopefully you guys can get out here come see the ham fest and uh, enjoy it um, but yeah, I think that's about all she wrote for this video. Like I said, I'll come back later and do a, a flea market booth walkthrough. And yeah, so until next time, guys, 73, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Hey, did you want to say something else? No, 73. Okay. All right, 73.